Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 7, Lesson 2. I'm going to start off with the I can objective. Here, it says I can add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators using a common denominator and assess reasonableness. The learning objective says add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators using common denominators. In the prior learning, said students recognized and generated equivalent fractions, and students compared two fractions with unlike denominators and unlike numerators. All right, so jumping into the lesson on page 153, we're going to start with this problem. It says Jamie is building a bird feeder. He connects two metal rods together to make a stand. The blueprint for the project shows the lengths of the rods. What is the total length of the rods? So over to the right in the blue square, it shows the smaller piece is one sixth of a yard and the longer piece is two thirds of a yard. Okay, so for A, it says write an expression to model the situation. And remember the expression is the problem without the equal sign. So an expression to model the situation would be our one sixth added to our two thirds to find out what the total length would be. So one sixth plus two thirds. All right, now we need to find a common denominator for the fractions in this expression. So between six and three, our common denominator is gonna be six. Know that you don't have to change the six if the three can multiply by something to also be that six, which it can. So our common denominator in this problem is six. Then in C, we want to write equivalent fractions using that common denominator. So our first one is 1 sixth. We want the denominator to be 6 for it to be equivalent. That denominator is already 6, so we don't actually don't even need to change it. So that one is going to be 1 sixth. And our next one is 2 thirds that we're dealing with. With this one, we definitely want our denominator to be 6. For it to be equivalent, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the exact same number. So for an equivalent fraction, we know that we already changed the denominator. It was 3, it is now 6. And we know that 3 times 2 is 6, which means for the numerator, I also need to multiply it by 2. The numerator we have is 2 already, so 2 times 2 will give us that equivalent fraction. So 2 times 2 is 4. These are our new fractions that we're going to use to add, subtract, compare. There are equivalent fractions with the same common denominators. All right, so moving into D, write an expression using fractions with a common denominator. So just the expression for right now. So we're adding those two equivalent fractions from up above. Our 1 sixth plus our 4 sixth. And the second part of that problem says, then find the total length of the rods. Okay, now we need to solve it. So this is equal to, well, 1 sixth plus 4 sixth they both have the same denominator, go ahead and just add. So one plus four is five sixths. And the total length that we were using was yards, so I need to include my units because it is a word problem. All right, now E, explain how you know your answer is reasonable. Well, I could sit here and write it down or I can discuss a few different types of options that are all correct. If you looked in the teacher's edition, there's one option there. Um, when I was going through this problem, I was figuring out that I have the longer rod, which is two thirds. I know that I only have one third left to be one whole yard. The problem that gives me is one sixth, and I know that one sixth is smaller than one third. So my total length should be less than one which it was, it was five six, which isn't quite one yet. Um, another uh, way that you could know that your, re your answer is reasonable is that you know that one six plus four six is gonna be less than one. Um, any of those types of answers that you're giving are correct as long as you know that your answer should be around one but less than one. Any way that you or your child said this is completely acceptable. 
All right, using this knowledge, moving on to the next page on 154, we're just gonna be doing the step it out problem number two. So I am gonna zoom in a little bit to work on this. So it gives me a word problem that says, number two, Jamie fastens the bottom of the bird feeder to the pole. He has four boards that are each five sixths foot long. How much must Jamie cut from each board to make each side of the feeder three fourths of a foot long? Okay, so he has these four boards over in that blue square there. They are five sixths, but he wants them to be three fourths. So how much much must he cut off? We know that if you cut off, you're taking off, that means subtraction, okay? So for A, write an expression that you can use to solve the problem. Remember the expression, not the equation, no equal sign. B, write an expression using fractions with common denominators to model the problem, then find out how much Jamie must cut from each board. So this, find the new expression with the common denominators, then solve. Make sure you get your units. And C, explain how you know your answer is reasonable. And again, there is a huge variety of answers that will make this correct. Yours does not have to be the exact same as mine. All right, go ahead and solve these three questions and then join me back when you are done. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and solve these. So for A, the expression as is, is that I have five six and I'm gonna be taking off three fourths. So the expression when I add in the common denominators is the de denominators now are six and four. I need to make these the same, so I do actually need to multiply the same because nothing times four can be equal to six. But I know if I multiply both numbers, they will equal to 12. So 12 is gonna be my common denominator. So my denominators are gonna be 12, and I'm gonna be subtracting them. So now I need to figure out my numerators. Well, I went from five sixths. So from six to 12, I'm multiplying by two. My numerator I already had was five. So five times that two is 10. So my new equivalent fraction for the first one is 10 twelfths. For my second one, I started with three fourths and I went and I know my denominator needs to be 12. From four to 12, I'm multiplying by three. The numerator already there is three. So three times three is gonna be nine. That is my second equivalent fraction. So there's my expression. Then I need to find out the answer. So 10 twelfths minus nine twelfths both have common denominators, I can just subtract straight across. So 10 minus nine is one. So one twelfth, and this unit is with feet. So C, explain how you know your answer is reasonable. So I said I needed one sixth to be cut off. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I went from one sixth to one fourth being left. I know that the fraction should be pretty small, right? So from one whole, from five six, I only needed one six left. And then I needed to be three fourths, so I only needed one fourth. So I'm dealing with pretty small fractions here, so I knew that my answer one twelfth made sense. You can write this however you want to, especially as you're getting a hang of how these fractions are actually working. Um, any of these explanations are completely acceptable. That is it for this lesson. Um, go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems, and I will see you back for Module 7, Lesson 3.